Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Fab Filters Twin Three Synth Subtractive Synthesis Four Oscillators, Four Filters, and tons of other cool stuff as well. Effects things. Thank you, Joe. So I was waiting for that. So. I programmed this patch today just for fun, really, and called it Nautilus. I'm not really sure why I called it Nautilus, actually, but I did. Anyway, so I was thinking, oh, right, okay, so let's let's do Genesis, right? I'm going to do, I'm going to play this patch in the style of Tony Banks and Genesis circa 1989, 19, 18, 1979-ish. Late 70s, early 80s, Genesis. Get the idea, right? Bloody awesome this thing is. Just sounds great. Okay. So this isn't going to be a tutorial. I'll give you a guide how it works. Okay. Um, that's awesome. So that was a patch called Nautilus. And I did one more called Is Anyone About? Which is this one. I'll play with it. This. So there's be a lot of patch patch playing. I'll I'll show you the basics. But really, what I did was found a patch that I kind of liked, and then started to manipulate the different things, the the modulation and stuff. But we will go with a clean patch in a moment, and I'll kind of take you through the basics. So this is another one of mine. pretty basic patches I I um, they're, they're a couple of mine let's go to someone think one that's not mine all right let's do this let's let's quickly let's before I start playing loads and loads of sounds let's quickly just go to a a clean a clean patch basic sawtooth one oscillator one oscillator you have a square square pure triangle let me go to a square so you get some waveforms and stuff yeah then you have your kind of octave range and stuff that you can play with this is kind of all self-explanatory stuff so kind of a pulsy width type vibe going on but it seems you can use it with any oscillator you like which is very cool 
initially it'll come up you see this says number one here this is the fill you can't see it but that's the this is the fill tab the filter's brilliant because it's huge i just need to find my <clears throat> my pen okay so if we open the this is a global filter control here and at the moment you'll see these two little dots here let me open that is this even switched on hang on a minute if i open these two little dots you'll see serial parallel and pair oscillator and pair oscillator is superb because let's just switch this on leave it on serial for a moment right and if i tap on here you'll see that it opens up the filter controls here you've got your the trouble is it's really tiny <laughs> but you've got low pass high pass band pass bell low shelf high shelf notch and then you've got your different uh, decibels per octave there up to 48 decibels per octave which is such a sharp sweep and then also if we go back in here you can tap on it again we've got your different type different types of filter gentle classic raw tube metal easy going you can change the the, the 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 vibe of the filter to suit whatever you want that's just a thingy and if i had another oscillator in here now oh this is your mixer pair oscillator and what's also nice is You can pan the oscillator. You can also pan the filter, it's bonkers. So here's global filter control and global peak filter offset. And there you have your effects. So you have a reverb, a delay, a chorus, a phaser, an overdrive, a drive, and a compressor. Do we want to switch reverb on? And when there's little dots in the middle of something, if you just tap on that bar like this, you can open up the time and the brightness. And it will be different things per the effect that you kind of, let's get out of there, kind of want to use. So it, it's basic stuff. Before I get into adding more oscillators and things, let's just take a real quick look at the modulation because the modulation is super deep. So super deep um right let's add so you pitch bend and then you can set your modulation places and things for your pitch bend and you can set it linear or exponential or logarithmic it's like all the other stuff inside fab for any of fab filter apps they all kind of similar stuff keyboard tracking velocity sensitivity hit this little plus button and let's add a either you can add a slider a new xy controller a new xlfo envelope generators envelope followers new midi source let's add an xlfo and let's use this to modulate the pitch uh, to modulate sorry to modulate the filter cut off so all we need to do is grab this and Pick it up and drag it on there. And here's where you can control the depth. You've got positive and negative polarity. Uh, let's just set this up full. And here's, this is cool. You can add more shapes in here. So like this, no more points. Let's add a few more points. And then we can kind of, just draw our own LFO shape in. And we can change the shape, so square. I know why it didn't change, but there you go. just disconnected that slot right so 
there you go you can do all kinds of cool stuff like that with your modulation take your time set it up properly it's a bit fiddly i'd suggest using either a mouse or a or a thing let's just do this a clear again so adding oscillators is really one of my favorite features on this is is part of the filter setup so initially the filter is in serial you can have it in parallel or pair oscillator pair oscillator is absolutely awesome so let's add one more let's add two more oscillators so now we've got these three oscillators going on and so we can hear what we're doing let's set the pitch of this to be plus one sorry why God, it's so hard to see, I tell you, I can't tell you. Right. Right. And I'm going to set these for and set different waveforms. So square, pure, and maybe a. Now, at the moment, if only one filter is selected it's, and it's on serial, they're all going to pass through that, that one filter. So if that's what you want, that's absolutely cool beans. If we go now to pair oscillator, if you've only got one filter, you're still only going to get that effect. So let's add another two filters, a double tap double tap now I have three filters I've now just filtered out only oscillator one oscillator two and oscillator three Here, so that's very cool, right? So you can see you can get some really nice stuff going on. Very nice. Put some reverb on that, just for fun. Bit of delay. Let's have a look at the delay controls. Let's long hold on there. Here is our. I turned it off. Sorry. Here is our envelope. So I already made a really nice sound in about two seconds. You know, just by not even doing any modulation stuff. What if we add an XLFO to this? Let's set this to number three. Add a few more points in. add another one another xlfo to this chorus so let me just see just pick it to the chorus okay let's put the arpeggiator on now so select arp switch it on Here's the latch. So you can have it so it's only held. 
and as soon as you let go, your speed is here. And like it's got like an arpeggio legato setting. And then it's got high quality setting and a low quality setting, which will affect your DSP, but you can play around with it if you want. So that's very cool. So this is 36% with high quality on. Let's turn it off. And 12% with high quality off. So you see it makes quite a big difference. And then we have one more oscillator. So we could say, let's make a few adjustments anyway for fun. We could have this oscillator be a white noise. Let's add in another oscillator point. Then we could obviously set up our modulation for the noise. the oscillator uh, the arpeggiator and we can just switch it off you know and then just play the synth or turn it into a nice pad Anyway, that's the basics of it. Then you can go bonkers, of course, because you can mod. It's the modulation. The modulation's it's bonkers. It's insane. You've got tons of it. Your basic oscillators are as as what they are. So, and let's go with say. Let's have a listen to some of these now. So. <laughs> with I think I think maybe um, let's start with some pad sound shall we I'll turn the microphone down The patches are great because you can see what's modulating and what's been modulated.
There's loads of cool aftertouch stuff going on here. So, oh, sorry, you've also got ring modulation. And if you connect, you can ring modulate between two.
This thing is bonkers good, man. Vangelis. Yeah, I I classify my <laughs> D Mag D. I classify my synth as brilliant, totally brilliant. Epic, epic, brilliant, and bonkers brilliant. <laughs> the, the truth is, if it if I, if I don't like it, I won't. I can't do it. You know what I mean? Because I can't. I can't get enthusiastic. And there's nothing worse than not being enthusiastic about something. I don't like it. You know? Can you imagine? Like, oh, I can't be doing with it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, well, you know, I don't. Uh, I can't really. Um, well, I'm not really that impressed with this. So I think I'm just going to go and have a cup of tea in there. Yeah, I don't really like it, you know. I, I wish it had, uh, I wish it had uh, incremental, quadmental, incremental, quad pluggy control, but it hasn't done. Um, so it's not for me. It winds me up, it does. Oh, I watch loads of stuff on YouTube. It does. I'm just thinking, oh, mate, why? If you hate it so much, if you hate it so much, why review it? Why, re why review it, dude? Why review it? You just. You're just making yourself feel sad for nothing. Review something you enjoy. <laughs> Come on, I'm going back to the 70s. Sod this. Gellis again. Lovely. Not that wasn't it. This isn't even an arpeggiator. Ultimate synth wave synth now. Thank you. 
sounds the, the presets they're, they're they're really really good So you, like oh, this drums and everything, right? So you could do like if I was doing this in loop, I have to do one in Loopy Pro. We could, I mean, I take the, I take the. It's really good, ain't it? Really good stuff, this. Yeah, they'll probably have a sale or they'll probably have a yeah that one of them bundle things like sam said jim d mac d thanks man thank you so much thank you very much very much appreciated super thanks and super super sticky chat things <laughs> just out of interest there's a quick as a quick uh as a, as a quick thing from what you've heard and what you've kind of seen it, it can do if you take your time with um program it who's actually gonna go off and kind of just just buy it straight off straight off the bat i mean i gotta be i mean fab filters did, did give me this like reviews and stuff but they're not paying me and my opinions my own Thanks, thanks, Mac D. No, no, there's not a test. I'm just asking if you're waiting for a price drop. Okay. I 
I think what I I tell you what I, what impresses me about the 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 user interface is that all these modulation and everything. As soon as it's programmed in and you you do something, you see, you can see it. You can see what it's doing. I mean, Fat Filter, they have beautiful UIs, didn't they? Lovely stuff. I think apparently it resizes like it's, like, it's a resizing perfection as well. <laughs> Look, 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 look. I don't know, but oops, open it back up now. Now I've lost. What have I done? I've turned the volume down. Tit. Let's open up four. Is it is is put a synth out now? Is it? It's been on beta for like three hundred years. When it's out, I'll 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 test it. Yeah. I then it's been out for so long now. I've 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 stopped looking at the updates for the betas. <laughs> it's a bit that's like anger, isn't it? Still on beer then, yeah? time look at the time guys i'm going uh i'm gonna play but another couple of minutes uh gosh flipping heck see time flies when you're having fun 
tomorrow night we'll be looking at look, we're looking at a synthesizer that just had a brand new sound pack from sam israel two two things actually sam's done two things if you buy one you get one free but that's tomorrow we're doing i do that tomorrow wednesday i have got a plan for wednesday but you know for the life of me it's gone it's gone thursday we're looking at the new spider ice miders pack for copperhead and that's as far as i can think i have got something for when's oh i was gonna do dials by audio thing tonight but i'm doing that on wednesday that's what i'm doing on wednesday i'm doing an audio thing spectacular right so <laughs> So let's uh, let's just move some leads. Look. Great synth this. Great, great. It's great. What's this? Be oh, best of Twin 2. So we have some stuff from Twin 2 in here. Anyway, right. I do, but never. That's it's TRG. That's so weird why it recommended you. <laughs> To come in if you don't have anything to do with music stuff how strange how strange the youtube algorithm can be sometimes anyway even if you don't like music you're all friendly here any affelian again i've done millions of affelian videos jim there's loads of them honestly I could do a Felian again, but I, there is, if you say it's a sound test stream of Felian, Jim, I've done like tutorials on the standalone and MIDI thing. That were, is it even still exists? Someone said it had gone away. I don't mind, Jim, you know what I mean? It's just that there are videos out there I've done. Anyway, I'm going to turn the microphone down, guys. Bless you all. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, we're talking look at new stuff from Sam Israel. Yeah. Pop in tomorrow, TRG, if you're not doing anything. Same time, 8 o'clock. <laughs> right, all right, folks. I'll see you later. Ta-da.